My audience consists of a lot of different people from all over the world. I think in my analytics it says I have over 170 different countries. I use YouTube analytics to not only see where my audience is from, but to see what kind of people are watching, male, female, how old are they? So that way I can cater to them, but also still be myself. But a huge part of my strategy as well is making sure that I interact with people on YouTube by reading and replying to comments and getting to know my viewers. Satnos, hello. Hello there, mate. I love using YouTube analytics because it allows me to see what videos are really standing out. And that's how I found out that the birthday cake was doing really well. And so we realized that we should build more videos, create more content around that video. This time we're making a what? A birthday card. Another great tool that I found with YouTube are the thumbnails. When we first started our channel, we were just drawing with a, with a black Sharpie. And the thumbnail was just a black and white of our drawing. And then we thought it would be a lot of fun to include coloring in our lessons. And so even the thumbnails became more colorful and more vibrant. And we noticed a huge change where more people were clicking on our videos and watching them just because they look more exciting to watch. Thank you for tuning in to Cook with April on Tasty Tuesday. We've experimented in a few ways to try and grow our global audience. We invested pretty heavily about a year ago and went back over every single one of her cooking videos and got captions created for all of them. We've also experimented with having our videos translated, um, having subtitles in different languages. Yeah. On some videos that have a large amount of viewership, we've invested in translating those languages of the, the top five or top ten countries. So while the Lunga is frying, let's go ahead and grab some more parchment paper. The advice that I would give to other creators to reach a global audience is to do helpful videos, to do videos that just show what you're doing more so than anything. It's like DIYs, how-to videos, a lot of cooking videos are just pretty much showing the food and that will help you grow a global audience.